Hey YouTube, how's it going? Hey guys, we're back at it again in another video. How's everybody doing? And how's everybody's Christmas? And also, how's everybody living? You know? Are you guys ready for the new year? I know I am, that's for sure. Well, here we go. We're gonna jump into the Code Academy HTML forms. Um, this is gonna be part two of the HTML form, yes. We're gonna be learning about how a form works. All right, guys, let's dive into it. Let me just change this right here and then click here. Give me a second. Um, all right, cool. How our form works. We can think of the interest, we can think of the internet as a network of computers which send and receive information. Computers need an HTTP request to know how to communicate. The HTTP request instructs the receiving computer how to handle the incoming information. More information can be found in our article about HTTP request. Okay. Okay, the form, this is another element. The form element is a great tool for collecting information, but then we need to send that information somewhere else for processing. We need to supply the form element with both the location of where the form's information goes and what HTTP requests to make. So we gotta take a look at the example form below. So this is a code block right here. This is some code. It says form action quotes forward slash example dot HTML quotes method equals quotes post quotes then closing and then form closing the form. In the above example, we created the skeleton for a form that will send information to example dot HTML as a post request. The action attribute determines where the information is sent. The method attribute is assigned as an HTTP verb that is included in the HTTP request. Note, HTTP verbs like post do not need to be capitalized for the request to work, but it's done so out of convention. In the example above, we could have written method equals post and it would work, and it would still work. The form element can also be also contain child elements. For instance, it would be helpful to provide a header so that users know what this form is about. We could also add a paragraph to provide even more detail. Let's see an example of this in code. All right, here's another um code block. Here we go. Form action equals quotes forward slash example.html quotes. Method equals quotes post uh, quotes uh, closing it. Or, yeah, just ending that. H1, header one, create creating a form, closing H1. Paragraph, look looks like you want to learn how to create an HTML form. Well, the best way to learn is to play around with it. So this is a closed paragraph and a closed form. The example above doesn't collect any user input, but we'll do that in the next exercise. For now, let's practice making the foundation of an HTML form. All right, so these are our instructions. So in this, in the section, in the section element, add a form element under the provided comment assign the form with an action attribute and with a value of practice, .h, forward slash practice .html, uh quotes, and then a method attribute with the value of post. All right, cool. So the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our code. Um, I'm curious about what's this. Okay, this shows our files and everything. All right, that's fine. This just shows our files, like a folder structure, like the uh, files and then folder. And then this is the file index HTML and then st styles. Okay, let's go. 
So in the section element, add a form element under the provided comment, assign the form with. All right, so it's over here. This is under the comment, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and assign that. So let's see. So in the section, okay, so put form. You got form, and then forward slash form. Great. So that's good. Open and close. Let me see. And then it's saying an action attribute with the value of practice. Okay. So let's go ahead and put action equals quotes, practice, P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E dot H-T-M-L, quotes. And then we're going to go ahead and um, side here, we're going to go equal method equals quotes post. Okay. Then close it up back here. I wonder if we could like make this extended more. Yeah, that'll be good, more extended. Okay, so form action, wait, wait, wait. So this is in this section, okay. Form says special characters must be escaped. Okay, it's fine. So form action, equals practice at HTML equals method equals post. So let's capitalize this, the convention post. And then we close it. Is this a, okay, we close it. And then we do H1. We got H1, H1, Clo um, close it. And then what we're gonna put, burger, well, we just, this is a burger, so, um, so an action attribute practice. Okay, we did that. And then a method post attribute to value. Okay, let's try to run and see what's going on next. Did you sign method attribute a value of post? Double click and check the spelling syntax. All right, let's check. Let's check it again. We got so we got form action equals practice. Oh, I forgot the forward slash. There we go. See that? Okay, little by little. Okay, form action equals quotes forward slash HTML. Close that. Then we got method. No, I didn't do that right. So it has to be method right here, post. So let's run it again. Okay, cool. That check marked. Nice. And then right now we have we have a blank form on the burger side. Let's add some text. So let's add some text like, um, this, this is a form of a burger. So let's put burger form. Okay, let's run that. Nice, it adds. So from this H1, it'll add it over here uh, live and see what we have did. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add an H1 in a form element with text related to the site between the tags. Okay, we did that. And then we gotta add some P tags. So P slash P tags. Okay, add some details of the form inserting p tag. So, what should we put? Add some details to the form by inserting p tag element. Write a relevant description with the p tag. So, we could just put um. Burger items here.
That'll work. Well, burger description. We could do description. Burger description. Burger descriptions. Okay. That'll work. Okay. All right. So that was it. Um. That was it. So we put burger description. Oh, I spelled that wrong. D E S C R I P T I O N. I'll just put burger description. All right. All right, cool. And that was um what was this? This was how it how a form works. So we have finished how a form works on um html forms so this is part two guys sweet hope you guys learned a lot you know so let's recap real quick so what we did was we made a form action let's recap so we made a form action practice method post so which the action attribute determines where the information is sent the method attribute is assigned a HTTP verb that is included in the HTTP request. Okay. So we just learn how a form works. Sweet. All right, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for the next section. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching, and um, you stay safe out there. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll get back at it again. You know, see you on the next one.